Ever. Yeah. Yeah, this is that that was Alright guys, hey, break it up. This is the last five and fifteen ever. Uh, Wanna go out with a bang. Really funny. I need some ideas though. Mike, stop it. I Come on, what do you guys big. got? Well, with the network going under, I say we go big. Ten and fifteen. Next. Why don't we just kill you, Frank? Off, kill you off the show. You're creepy. But I kind of like the idea. You know, it has some legs. But uh, anybody else? Anybody else got anything? You know, the Avengers is pretty popular these days. Maybe we shoot him with one of those gamma rays. I would say that's the stupidest idea I've ever heard, but I came up with it two weeks ago. That's why Bill Dolman's acting so weird. <sighs> that's what I'm talking about. But you know, then again, uh, I kind of do like the idea of me as a superhero. I mean, look at me, guys. I could totally be a superhero. That's that's not true at all. Guys, we need something we can actually pull off. That's what she said. <sighs> you guys, I can't believe you're telling me this. You guys think I can't be a superhero? I could totally be a superhero. What would your superpower be? Lameness? <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, could be B.O. also. B.O. <laughs> Frank Martin, producer, comedian, searching for a way to tap into the hidden laughs that all humans have. Then an accidental overdose of Krispy Kremes alters his body's chemistry. And now when Frank Martin grows funny or humorous, a startling metamorphosis occurs. The creature is driven by funny and pursued by an overbearing fan. Mr. Cruz, don't make me funny. You wouldn't like me when I'm funny. The creature is wanted for a bad <laughs> joke he didn't tell. Frank Martin is believed to be dead, and he must let the world think that he is dead until he can find a way to control the raging comedian that dwells within him. time welcome into the mountain studios this is 5 and 15 and i am your host frank martin as you know we've got a lot to do before they turn the lights out on us so let's get to it five things to do in denver when your network is dead they look like this our top story being well saying goodbye the old-fashioned way in person and without further ado, let's get to it. It's time to introduce our first guest and ask him just one question. So ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming all the way from It's a Numbers Game. He stuck around for two minutes, <laughs> Scott Sarah. What's up, Frank? Welcome to the show. I'm sorry Thanks to get you out here This is sooner. nice, that's yeah. all right. All right, hey, one question, dude. Yes. What are you gonna miss the most about this network? <sighs> I think I'm gonna get missed the most getting paid to watch sports. They paid you? They, they paid me. They didn't pay you? Anyway, I got paid to watch sports. It was awesome, it was fun. I'm also going to miss Sam. I'm going to miss road trips with you. Oh, man. That was fun. Yeah, you're good. Always you're good. good. Wanted in four counties. I love it. <laughs> All right, anyways, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, Scott Sarah, don't forget his series finale next week right here on the network, unless you're watching this on the weekend of the 23rd. Anyways, Hi, Frank. Scott Sarah, everybody. I should have kissed him. I should have kissed him. Biggest regret. Biggest regret. Anyways, moving on. It's a big week coming up for the network. That's right. In addition to closing ceremonies, we are hosting the conference baseball tournament. Here it is, soak it in people. The final game productions we will ever do on the mountain. Things start on May 24th and they conclude on May 26th, unless I believe there's like a if necessary game, game seven of the World Series type stuff. Anyways, what I invite you to do is log on to the mtn.tv. That is the mtn.tv for a complete listing of our network and baseball tournament schedule. The Mountain West Baseball Tournament will be a hoot. It is always a classic, and here's an example of why. The victory over Utah. This one may stay in. Oh! Cavazos oh my gosh! Fest. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you, Are you kidding? kidding me? Are you got, I don't care. I don't. He, you got to give him that. You got to give him that. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness! Hey, hey. Unbelievable! Oh my goodness! Guys, I have chill bumps. Please verify that. <laughs> I've got chill bumps. <laughs> Jamesy. Oh, Jamesy. <laughs> I have chill bumps. <laughs> Hey, time for another guest here on the show. And right now, I'd like to bring out the man who's headed our writing staff here on 5 and 15. 
actually he is our writing staff. Everybody help me and join uh, welcoming Will Holden. Will, welcome to the show. Uh, I'm glad you're here. How you doing, buddy? I'm, I'm great, man. Really good. Really good. All right, Will Holden, everybody. Thanks for joining the show. Dude, I, I wrote a whole show. Yeah, but I, I told you before, we only had time for one question. I, I asked it. You know, I'm gonna make it up to you. Everybody right now, I hope you enjoy this. It's the best of Will Holden from 5 and 15. I'm joined now by our esteemed mountain anchors, Bill Dolman and Marius Payton. And, and all I can say is, boy, do I feel underdressed. You <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah. Question mark for proper punctuation. Have you ever seen a newborn giraffe born on a frozen pond and they try to get up the walk the first time? And there's also the fact that I left my debit card at Applebee's last weekend, so that's, uh, that's not an option either. Put the cones on it there. Cones on it there. And now you have a Stussy sign. It's the wrong one. On Southwest, bags fly free. Oh, oh, all right. Bang, 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 boom. That is exactly what we're going to leave you with. You heard some things you probably wanted to hear, some things you didn't. Let's get out Thanks of here. time. Who is this cat? Hey, Chris. <laughs> Are we good? Did that make up for it? You know what? Bill Dolman was my favorite. Well, don't, don't, listen, don't listen to me as a reference then. All right. Composure. We move on. Next up, another special moment on the mountain. As you know, we are going black on May 31st. That's an industry term. But you know the old saying, once you go, I'm not going to finish. The mountain has prepared some goodbye shows for our faithful viewers starting Monday, May 28th. The mountain will unveil our 6 in 60 series. Boy, what an original name. 6 in 60. Wonder where they got that. Stolers. First up, 6 and 60 football retrospective looks back at the last six years of Mountain West football. That show is followed by a new 6 and 60 every night that week, leading up to our final show, which is Thursday, May 31st at 11 p.m. It's the Mountain's Top 20 Mountain Moments. Will this make the cut? Here's the pitch to Johnson. Full head of steam. Gartrell Johnson into the end zone. Gives a big chest bump to Joey Porter. And poor the flag is thrown on the Miami Dolphin linebacker. Our final story, it's a sentimental one, folks. You know, this show started as a dream for me. I made it happen, but of course I did not do it alone. We never do. But right now I want to thank the powers that be who let me con them into letting this show happen. You know, the guys upstairs. I really appreciate it. I also want to thank everyone who was in my corner when times were tough. You know, the people who sent a kind word my way regarding the show. People who picked me up when I was down, offered some advice when I needed it the most, or even drunk texted me when they were sitting in a bar and they saw me on TV. That being said, I asked my guys to prepare a special thank you for all of you people, the whole lot of you who fit into that category. Roll it. That was it? Five people. Five. Five people. That's weak. All right, time for a break, but when we come back, it's our big finish, and it may or may not include a musical number, but you're gonna have to stick around to find out which one. Should be illegal to look this good, huh? <laughs> we almost ready? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I forgot my mustache. What mustache? The one I need for the final joke, the big, big finale. How much, oh. how much time we got? I gotta go get that. You've got 15 days. True that. All right, I'll be right back. Ding, 55th floor. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Did you forget this? Huh. Thanks, dude. I guess I was wrong about you. Don't you need to get back downstairs? Yeah, you're right. I better get back down. You have pressed the self-destruct button. This elevator will self-destruct in five seconds. What? Have a nice day. Wait! No, no, no!
can't believe he's really gone. I always love this photo. Frank and Cher, prom, 84. <sighs> Gonna miss him. Gonna miss him. I just wish we could have heard that last joke. The albino dolphin, a left-footed shoe, a bag of bell peppers. What does it all mean? I know, man. It's gonna be epic. <sighs> but I guess we'll never know. Hey, did you guys hear? <laughs> hear what, Mike? They cleared the rubble from the elevator accident. Oh, jeez, that must have been so Ugh, gory. So gory. Yeah, it wasn't gory. You know why? There was no body. No, no body? Frank Martin is believed to be dead. And I must let the world think that I am dead until I can find a way to control the raging comedian that dwells within me.